looking for a bodyguard? I work for the hardest gangsters in the world. Key Lolo, Shinobi. Hey, I still work for Tupac even though he dead. I am Israeli military secret service. Oh, damn! I'll go beat their ass right here, right now. Look no further. I'm Drillbit Taylor. As a bodyguard, I've protected three vice presidents, Bobby Brown and Sylvester Stallone. Not quite as tough as he looks. Who do you guys need protection from? Just a high school bully. Boom, boom, Help me. Boom, boom. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. You know what this is? It's a wing, and you're under it. All three of you, right there. This is very disturbing. Using my expertise at stealthy and covert ops, I'll infiltrate the school. Oh! Teacher's lounge, it's right over there. What do you teach? English. My native tongue. Yeah. Now, it isn't all oriental martial arts. Sometimes you give a little Mexican judo, as in judo know who you're messing with, Holmes. We need to learn how to take a punch. Let me go first. Ten being the hardest. How hard do you want? Five, in the back. <laughs> I get a kick out of these kids. You're really getting into this whole teacher thing here, huh? As long as you got a coffee cup in your hand, nobody says anything. Oh, hello, uh, fellow teacher. This spring... Run. Stop hassling these kids. Oh, that doesn't work at all. I feel sick of your garbage. It's gonna end now. I said hallelujah. From the guys that brought you knocked up. <laughs> and super bad. Morning sunshine. Ah! Ah! Since when did you start sleeping naked? I don't like elastic squeezing on my <laughs> That guy's my teacher. Ah! Owen Wilson. No, I really like it here. You're doing a great job. Hey, scram. Scram Roger Blocker. I've never met anyone as great as you. I'm really just always attracted to just such dirt bad guys. Some bum, just some lying pig. Stop it. You're starting to rant a little bit. Drill Bit Taylor. Remember what Drill Bit taught us? Mind over pain. and runs great. I don't want anything. Everything has to be difficult. There are people in this world who go looking for adventure. <laughs> Christopher McCandless was searching for himself. So you're a leather now. I'm a leather? Yeah, a leather tramp. That's what they call the ones that hoof it. Don't you think you ought to be getting a job and making something of this life? I only got one plan. I'm going to Alaska. Alaska, Alaska? Or city Alaska? I'm going to be all the way out there. Yeah. Just in the wild. Just... What are you doing when we're there? Now you're in the wild. Just... What are you doing? You're just living, man. I read somewhere how important it is in life, not necessarily to be strong, but to feel strong, to measure yourself at least once. Where are your mom and dad? Living their lives somewhere. Do your folks know where you are? I was at Dreaming World. I didn't imagine it. I heard him. I heard him. I heard Chris. Son, how long have you been out here? A couple of weeks. And before that? I went to South Dakota. I worked for this guy named Wayne. What do you think about all this? I like all this. I took the Colorado River all the way down to the Grand Canyon and did rapids. What's the end stand for? North. Your great Alaskan adventure. something in life, you just grab it.
Got squished by a car, but just as one leg is off for making tadpoles, just one leg out of two. He thought, hmm, I've been heartbroken before. And it left a hole you could drive a truck through. And he hopped on down the road, a little bit further towards the truth. What's new, Eddie? Anything exciting? Uh, yeah, we just got those new Nike Sasquatch drivers into the store, so that's been kind of cool. Let me rephrase the question. You've been crushing any pussy? No, Dad, I haven't been crushing any pussy. Seriously, who are you booming? Dad, seriously, I'm not booming anybody. I'm just kind of dating a little right now. I don't get you. You refuse to get married, yet you don't really enjoy the fruits of bachelor life. It's like... You're living in a purgatory over here. Dad, I don't refuse to get married. It's just I want to do it with the right person, OK? I'm sorry to ride you, pal. I just want you to be happy. I hate you to be alone on Valentine's Day. I won't be. I'm going to a wedding. Oh, now you're talking. Weddings are a great place to meet women. Who's getting married? Jody. Jody. What are you? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Dad. Eddie, Eddie, Come don't on. do this to yourself. We're still friends. I'm just saying, watching your ex fiance walk down the aisle on Valentine's Day might sting a little. No, we're way past that. Really, I mean, if anything, it's gonna, it's gonna be cathartic. Give me a little closure. I think it's flat out wrong. But maybe I'm just old fashioned. Come on, skip the wedding. You and me, we'll head to Vegas. Maybe we get lucky and tag team a couple of broads. Yeah, I have to say, the idea of a tag team with my 77 year old father is extremely tempting. But I already RSVP'd, so I appreciate the offer. Come on, come on. So don't get me wrong, it's not that I'm not.